what is this is it called? Drum machine Pulsar 23. Pulsar 23. And how does it, what is the main idea of this machine? The main idea is combined in one box a lot of uh, possibilities. Some on one on, on them is really new. So first of all, it's uh, excellent for standalone operation. So you have no any other gear for this, like uh, controllers or uh, sequencers. So it contains yes. its own sources of behavior, like LFO complex, uh, random source generators, yes. dividers, uh, triggers, switchers, all could, ch could create some behavior, mm -hmm. as well as it has four channel loopers and uh, it can uh, be recorded four on... four channels of, of audio. Uh, of, yeah, so you can record on the fly your performance. Yes. And uh, it's without any quantization, so it preserves your life. Um, okay, there's no quantizer. In no, it, yeah, so, so my idea, uh, if yeah. you need quantization, you will able to use it with DW. I will okay. uh, describe it a little. You have to have a MIDI sequencer. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, and then it also could be uh, driven by a MIDI signal, so... Yeah. You see a lot of learn knobs, everything could be assigned to any kind of MIDI ah, output like ah. DW, MIDI keyboard, sequencer and so on. Okay. Also you can uh, integrate it into Eurorack module, so mm -hmm. all these nodes are ready to be uh, driven by standard CV from uh, any kind of okay. Eurorack source, as well as go back to Eurorack and be processed. So, like three possibilities which can work in the same time. So you can use internal sequencer, uh, DW, and uh, let's say uh, uh, some of Eurorack step sequencer at the same time okay. and create very uh -huh. complex behavior. As well, it's uh, semi-modular, so you can patch everything and uh, you can. Uh, even make a kind of circuit bending. So we have okay. some strange knots here, which could be like... I will even try to show you. Oh. This is a kick, but we can even modify it by your body. <laughs> So and these are analog sources. Yeah, yeah. Four analog sources. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we have just uh, what we have digital here, just DSP processor. Mm -hmm. It's also a very powerful part of it, and uh, we have uh, digital uh, DCO. We have DCO on the bus, base, and percussive channel. Okay. But this DCO, it's a pure mass synthesis, no wave tables, no samples. No wave tables. So this no is a wave. DCO. DCO, this DCO, is, VCO, okay. VCO, 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 okay. DCO plus analog uh, filter and analog uh, generator of envelopes. Okay. So and you will hear it's really uh, it's hard to say that this is DCO. So it's a very, really fun yes, yes, sound. Yes, for the filter and, and that's in the not not only because and amplifier also. Yes. But but because of uh, another way of synthesis, it's real synthesis, not okay. a wave table like okay. now most of the machine does. So uh, and uh, okay. uh, modules uh, very useful for patching. So I will not describe it precisely because it's a lot of time. Yes. So this is the uh, this core is the, idea. The, 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 the whole idea of the machine. Uh, and is, are these, uh, so there's the wavetable uh, generator and four analogs. And, and are these four, four analog sources are identical? Or are no, no, different? no, absolutely different. Absolutely different. So, so one is more specialized to bass sounds and the others are on, on high hats yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. But it could be like a smooth transition between hi-hat and, uh, let's say, uh, additional drum kick, bass kick. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. Then, then, yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, and, uh, now we uh, hear a little performance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please.